Katie here from Vibe. For today's Feature Friday, I'm gonna walk you through some tips and tricks of utilizing our Canvas application on your web browser. Now our whiteboarding software, which is called Vibe Canvas, can be used on the Vibe board, on any web browser, no matter the type of computer or tablet, and we also have an iPad app. The features are very similar to what you can do on the board, but there's a few things that are different. So let's jump on in and take a look. So to access the Vibe Canvas web application on any computer browser, we typically recommend Chrome. You're gonna to go to app.vibe.us to sign into your account. I actually have this as saved as a favorite bookmark because I come here so often. So today I'm gonna to take you through five of my top tips for what I use the web application for the most. Number one is text and typing. Now you'll notice that the whiteboard toolbar is very similar to what you have available on the Vibe board. The one big difference is this option to just add text. So instead of the AI text corrector, I can just come in and start typing and my keyboard is right here on my computer. I also use typing a lot with sticky notes if I need to add a lot of sticky notes, as well as if I'm using the shapes tool to create diagrams, it's much, much easier to type when I have a keyboard right here. Next up is keyboard shortcuts. So because we have your keyboard here, um, we have a help article that is where I grabbed the screenshot from that shows you all the different shortcuts available. Also, if you hover over any of these features, it's gonna give you a hint for that shortcut. So if you wanna switch to the pointer, you just select V. If you wanna switch over back to the pen, you go to P, etc. So there's a lot of different keyboard shortcuts that I still need to learn actually that will help save you some time. Some of my favorite ones are to zoom in and zoom out. So those are gonna be control plus or control minus. Also, I love to use the copy and paste feature. So if you need to quickly copy and paste images around the canvas, it's great to be able to do that. Number three, importing local files. So as you know, you can import documents and images from cloud drives, but there are a lot of you out there that are saving things locally to your device, or maybe someone sends you a PDF last minute. So when you come and log into the web application, you can upload documents locally from your computer or your device. These are restricted to PDFs or JPEG PNG files. So if you have a PowerPoint that you wanna import, simply save it as a PDF, and then you can even drag and drop it into the canvas to import. So this is a really, really helpful option. If you have things saved locally, something sends, last, sends to you last minute, you can import it in this way. I also like to use this if I need to export something locally. So on the board, you can export to email, you can also export as um, a back to your cloud drive. But if you're on the web application, you can export as a PDF, it's gonna download it and save that locally to your device. So I have this PDF that just opened and it's going, and then I can send it off to a big group or save it in my cloud storage system or local network system, wherever I need to save it. The last tip I have for you is around link sharing. So if you want to share one of your canvases ahead of a meeting, I love to be able to come over here, grab the link share option, maybe allow for anonymous editors, and then I can copy that link and paste it into the calendar invite ahead of a meeting, or copy that and paste it into Slack or wherever you might need to send it via your computer. So this is a really fast way to be able to share. Um, so these are, again, my five top tips um, for utilizing the Vibe Canvas application on any web browser.